Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rachahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And uh, as you can see here on the screen, um, I'll just read it. You see Thug and Diva, all right, which have uh, pretty much become uh, the culture that surrounds the so-called uh, black, Hispanic, and Native American man. They, they, they're all into this thug life, all right, of course, with the uh, head tribe being Judah, all right, to evoke and push these demons, all right, and they most they mostly push this lifestyle via, you know, the music, okay, and then you have Diva, all right, which is a goddess, all right, known to be hard to deal with, very demanding, all right, proud, um, and these vibrations, Thug and Diva, have become what you are, all right, when you're dealing with you Israelites, this has become, all right, even in Israel, you have these vibrations being pushed, okay, you have particular camps that uh, want to stick to the street gang gang life, you know, throw up gang signs, but now use it for the truth, all right, which you're playing a very dangerous game and you will be dealt with, and then you have the women, okay, who find out they're Israelites, and instead of, you know, doing videos, teaching, you know, how to sew, how to cook meals, how to be, uh, you know, a better woman, better wife, you know, teaching the younger children, all right, how not to be, you know, associated with the crap that's pushed in this world, they get on videos telling the men what to do, and how and how not to prophesy, and they can uh, have the same office, so you see these same vibrations even within Israel. How much more when you deal with, uh, you know, our people who don't know that they're Israel. But you have th these vibrations because this thug, you know, going back to the Elamites, okay, the, the, the so-called uh, East Indians, when you go into their culture, all right, um, they would have particular gods and goddesses associated with behaviors now in their culture which is heavily pushed today it's all satanism at the end of the day because there's many paths to satan that's why the scriptures say wide is the gate you know um that leads to destruction you know even at the time of nimrod one of the bitty cities that he built um the name of it was associated with wide paths because there were many paths being set Okay, via, you know, all sorts of things to lead people to Satan, okay, and to rebel against the uh, the Most High and his mediator. But um, these thugs, you know, would be in the desert knowing that people would be traveling through. And at night they would come out and stick people up, you know, steal their goods, you know, sometimes put them to death and run off. All right. And, and that is a very, very... uh well-known characteristic all right within the system of edomite supremacy of you israelite men you're known as thugs all right and the women okay uh require thugs okay i want a hot boy i want this i want that although they're starting to see that that that, that that's a failure okay because these things were invoked in your culture via music entertainment for a very very demonic purpose on the left hand side and Esau when you deal with black culture and the various different cultures that he sets up for you these are his science experiments these are the projects all right he even puts you in the projects all right it's a project all right he, he's pretty much molded you into anti-messiah both men and women and the men okay love to bow to the diva now it says these these are two ancient Buddhist demons, and even, you know, going back to the Canaanites and the Egyptians, all right, when you deal with uh, the Black Panther movie, you know, that, that X signal that Jake, you know, was doing, you know, uh, that cross X, you know, they do with their arms, that goes back to uh, 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 ancient Egyptian gods, okay, 
um, the black power fist. All right. Now, throwing up a fist is nothing wrong with that. But that, you know, raising your fist in the air, that's associated with Baal. OK, that was the uh, sick. That was the uh, symbol of Baal. OK, so when you look at these cultures and these different things that have cultivated us. OK, because this is what we grew up cultivated by via music, via entertainment. And they, they know that music and entertainment is um, very, very dear unto Israel. All right. But what they've done is they've uh, linked the music. OK, because when you deal with the music. All right. And the entertainment in the scriptures was all to uplift. All right. The names. OK. The, the Psalms. You can read those. Um, they weren't to promote this world and, and, and vile behavior. All right. But what Esau did. All right. Is who, who because who owns the music industry? The 1948er. All right. Let's just keep it real. All right. They're the ones that are behind gangster rap and behind, you know, all of this perverse music all right where the women got their legs spread wide open you got the ill na na with foxy brown these are all ancient deities and gods and goddesses okay that have uh been implemented into your culture via the music all right music is very very powerful all right and what they've done is on the left hand side they've not only changed the frequencies of the uh drum patterns and the uh you know the different vibrations that are released because th there's particular tunes of instruments all right because music was made for constructive behavior all right and to ease people all right and to calm you down well well you know and there are drum you know war drums and things like that and different uh vibrations and different ways you blow the horn all right to get people in particular mindsets maybe it's a warning all right but esau has taken music and created these wicked not only wicked vibrations, okay, but he's implemented and gave you a covering to cover with that is not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, and whether knowingly or unknowingly, okay, you have bowed to these different gods and goddesses, okay, and they've become one with you in your culture, and your culture is what you're cultivated by. Now, it says uh, these are two ancient. A uh, uh, Buddhist demons, thug and diva. A diva is not a female version of a hustler because that's what it's all promoted as in the music. Okay, just like you you was hearing Foxy Brown say "Il Nana." All right, that's in, that's an ancient goddess, man. <laughs> okay, so you see the danger of what these elite do because they're the ones who have the final say on what makes it onto the mainstream and what these artists say all right they even tell you that before these albums are released they pray over them to their different gods and goddesses so that these can be as mediums to bring the people listening to satan all right now the beauty is the elect the remnant all right there's no enchantment but you should be very 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 careful on what you listen to and what you allow into your spirit all right now um a diva is not a female version of a hustler you are using demonic terms, okay, to describe yourself in your ratchet behavior, all right? And, you know, I went to a black college, and I always heard that word, you know, uh, the, the the divas of Delta Sigma Theta, uh, we divas, the diva, diva. And, and that, when I saw this, that's what, you know, pushed me to do this lesson, because our people, at the end of the day, have been bamboozled. <laughs> and the water Yahweh Bashim Shai for us, the remnant, Lord willing, we're part of that, you know, that uh, uh, number, okay, to come out of this mess, man. Because at the end of the day, Esau knows who we are, okay? And this is why they put billions of dollars into these entertainment systems and pay these Jakes millions. Okay, to deceive you and to destroy themselves. All right. And if you notice in that rap uh, culture, that whole gang thing. A lot of these rappers are being put to death, man. Okay. And that image of a diva and women being proud and this and that, it's being attacked heavily. Okay. You have ultimately the prophets out speaking against these things, but you even have men who don't know the truth. All right. That's why there's a heavy attack 
on the behavior of evil women in these latter days and evil men. But you see a lot of what you call red pill, which at the end of the day, the red pill, yeah, some of the things they say are cool, but them niggas don't know what the hell they're talking about either because they, they a lot of them promote adultery. Here it is, you're a red pill Jake, okay? But at the same time, you promoting a right, uh, 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 land with women who have men. So you, you, the the red pill community, uh, uh, for the most, they they not they don't have the, the the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, all right, of what it takes to get everything back in order. We have that, okay. The MGTOW, you know, some of the things they say is cool, you know, at the end of the day, um, but their message at the end of the day, separate it's separate from our message. Yeah, we get on the women, all right, but uh, for the remnant. All right. Uh, at the end of the day, there's light at the end of the tunnel and we're no longer going to gonna have to deal with this devil system. All right. As a means to have a family, as a means to, you know, we're going to be sovereign in the kingdom of heaven. Men, women and children will never of the nation of Israel will never have to worry in the kingdom, man. OK. But, yeah, you got red pill niggas that are that'll do a video. But boast on, you know, uh, well, she was on a date with another nigga. And, uh, yeah, she's texting me, asking me what I want to eat. Shit, she come from the date with him. And, I, you know, hey, man, a lot of men, men could stop a lot of this adultery if you just held a standard. And women, if, if women knew that, you know, we weren't with that shit, they, they would then start to think. If you set the standard, oh, you got a man, you got a husband, nah. If a chick is texting you while she's on a date with another dude telling you I'm on a date with this clown and yada, yada, yada. But when I leave here, I'm going to come see you. You shouldn't want anything to do with that woman. You should let her know off the bat. You wicked. I'm not with that. All right. But that's where the men of the Lord come in. OK, because we're going to be the highly coveted, high value men. All right. In, in the days to come, you'll see. Now. This is Isaiah 30 and one. Because it all, it all boils down to this. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Okay? And that cover with a covering, okay? But not of my spirit, that they may add sin unto sin. All right? Now, in the garden, dealing with Adam and Eve. Okay? Let me just jump to the point. Um, yep, uh, Genesis 3 and 7, I started 6, Genesis 3 and 6, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for the food, okay, because these philosophies and different gods and goddesses to the flesh, they sound pleasing, it, it, it gives you a sense of entitlement, it gives you a sense of, you know, uh, vigor, uh, you know, like you, you're doing something, people bow to you. People scared of you. People fear you. Right. But that is never the order the Heavenly Father wanted men and women to be in. All right. This is the problem with our people. They are out of order and they hate order. OK, those who know that they're Israelites and those that don't know. OK, they, they, they hate order, man. Men and women. You see it all the time on the Internet. Like I said, when when women decide to do videos that know that they're Israelites, wh which one of them do a video? This is how you sew this. this is, you young women don't, you know, you don't never see that. But they're, they're uh, cursing up a storm or talking some shit or, or, or telling us what we need to do as men and how we're wrong and what they feel. You don't never see any of them get on the video and say, well, today I'm going to teach you how to, you know, the women, yada, 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 how to cook this meal. Your man would like this, yada, yada. You don't see that. But anyway, and that's what the book of Titus tells them to do. <laughs> but somehow they look over all of those scriptures and then they're on the video telling us what to do. Anyway, I digress. And when a woman saw that the tree was good for food and it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband. All right. And he did eat. All right. And this same thing has happened to the nation of Israel time and time again. All right. Where we followed 
the, the philosophies of these heathen because the fruit was not no damn apple. All right. Now, when you look at the Apple, uh, uh, the the Apple computer logo, you have that apple with that bite out of it. All right. And they know that the knowledge that they uh, hold is forbidden knowledge. You see? Well, and our people have eaten of that. And until this day, it's, it's, it's causing them and leading them to the left. OK, they're becoming bigger anti messiahs more and more than ever via this technology and this 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 BS that they're pushing. OK, but that's what happened in the garden. The serpent came with, with, with a whole nother culture, a whole nother way outside of the breath of life that was given unto Adam, which he gave unto Eve. And she. All right. Which represents the church said, oh, I'm a, I, this sounds good. And what did she do? She she took up that philosophy because it gave her a sense of pride, entitlement above the order she was supposed to be in. All right. And she took it and ate it and it gave her it made her a goddess. Well, she said, well, ooh, th this is better than just me being in order and paradise. So shit to hell with paradise. I can be a queen. Which when you look up the, the definition of queen, type it in Q-U-E-A-N. It's a loud, disrespectful, whorish, impudent woman. But now the woman are walking around the earth, queen this and queen that. And the men are walking around the earth on some whole on a whole nother level of wickedness and darkness and trash. You men are absolutely wicked too. Okay, but it it all started with the woman. Through her, we all die. That's in Sirach, the 25th chapter, man. Okay, the, even in Timothy, it tells you that Eve was deceived first. The woman, the church. All right. Now, in these latter days, a remnant of us are coming back to obedience. It says, and the, and the eyes of them were both opened and they knew that they were naked because they were only supposed to know good. But now they know good and evil, which was the purpose of this all. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. That's them covering with a covering that is not of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. They made themselves aprons. They sewed fig leaves together to cover themselves. Right? And then they were rebuked. But that's what's happening here in Isaiah 30. All right? Which is speaking of, of, of back then and now. Woe to the rebellious children, except the Lord, that take counsel but not of me in that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit that they may add sin unto sin. How did they do that? That walk down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth. And what is the mouth of the Lord? His prophets. The prophets will clearly tell you these ways are not the way. <laughs> All right. The way that you're walking in this diva like fashion in this thug passion shit, it's wicked, it's evil. All right. You could be hardcore for the truth. You have men that are rough around the edges. You just channel that energy towards what, what, what's 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 uh, good. Okay? With balance. Okay? That walk to go down into Egypt that have not acts at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Which, what? What's the shadow of Egypt? Babylon the Great. This is that spiritual Sodom and Egypt, man. All right, but, um, yep, for the Egyptians, verse 7, shall help in vain and to no purpose. Therefore, have I cried concerning this, their strength is to sit still. They want you Israelites to sit still. Okay, they, they don't, they don't uh, promote unto you the true living waters. And this is why they funded all of this wicked music and all of this wicked entertainment. Tyler Perry, what is his name in that, his, his famous thing, Medea or media that's a god of uh, the goddess of illusion okay which going back to the heathen practices all right to, to honor the god of saturn the man would dress as a woman and the woman would put on a male uh, uh army uh armor and that's the norm amongst our people's culture today and your culture is what what you're cultivated by OK, and you've been cultivated by evil, wickedness and in and, and, and all of these practices, but it's mainly implemented and pushed on you through music and entertainment. All right. So I just wanted to go into that, man. Hopefully I'll edify. Shalom.